Well, welcome to the video conference of the informal uh, justice ministers meeting. The Minister of Justice, you have the floor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Just now we concluded the informal meeting of the Ministers of Justice of the European Union. It was a very constructive meeting and allowed us to confirm the convergence between the various uh, uh, priorities of the uh, Portuguese presidency and the priorities of the ministers of justice in Europe. All ministers of justice were very receptive to the idea that we should uh, move forward to protect vulnerable adults as a matter of urgency, uh, mainly by ratifying the Hague Convention of 2000 on the protection of adults. And if possible, make even further progress by uh, doing additional work. Furthermore, we also identified a whole series of problems uh, uh, linked to counterfeiting and its linked to uh, uh, crime. Not only counterfeiting of medical products uh, and other medical uh, products, uh, but also counterfeiting of uh, 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 other materials that in safety. That was a very uh, enriching debate uh, on that point, and Europol uh, and Eurojust took the floor as well. What was quite clear was that all member states need to make progress to approve and ratify the Medi-Crime Convention. It's a, a convention of the Council of Europe, of Europe which uh, criminalizes the sale of uh, illegal medical products uh, and uh, counterfeit uh, medical uh, and pharmaceutical products. We also agreed that we could perhaps go a bit further and a bit deeper in this area. The discussion of this uh, topic uh, saw the involvement not only of the Commissioner Reinders, but also uh, Commissioner Ilva Johansson. On the third issue uh, of today, digitalization. The COVID-19 uh, crisis has shown uh, everyone that we need to speed up the digital transition in the area of justice uh, uh, and uh, have uniform digitization processes. A lot of significant work has already been done at the uh, Commission level on digitalization, and this work now needs to carry uh, on. I think we all agreed that we need to uh, take advantage of this opportunity and of the work that's already been done and move forward and particularly also make full use of the funding that is open to us under the Recovery and Resilience Facility. The uh, Commission, of course, said that they were um, willing to provide the necessary support to member states in the whole process of digitalization. At the same time, we uh, discussed another very uh, important issue, namely the uh, interoperability of the various judicial uh, systems and the court systems, and especially as regards the uh, uh, electronic communication of requests across borders, a system that should be uh, secure. And it, we already know that we will be using the e-codex system and EU LISA will uh, be responsible for making sure this works. They also participated in our work today. And there was broad consensus among all the uh, ministers that we need to move forward with digitalization, but at the same time fully respecting the rights that are set out in the European Charter of Fundamental Rights. I can now give the floor to the Commissioner, Didier. Thank you. 